Hi, this is Guy Wallace. A focus on tasks and outputs during your instructional analysis provides you with an anchor for deriving both the overt behavioral tasks and the covert cognitive tasks that new performers will need to learn. It's critical to worthy instruction that includes how master performers think about their task performance and what discriminations they generally make about their performance requirements and context, what determinations they make about acceptable alternatives if needed, to both outputs and their tasks, and what ultimate decisions they make about alternatives for plan A or plan B as a backup. Without these cognitive tasks layered into the instruction, you leave the learner to figure out that on their own. When there are likely proven strategies and tactics employed by master performers who have already figured it out on their own. It's just that those strategies and tactics, the discriminations, determinations, and decisions needed are part of the master performer's non-conscious knowledge and are difficult to elicit. And the higher the stakes, the risks and rewards for the performance you're focused on, the more critical it is that your analysis efforts uncover the cognitive tasks and share that in your instruction, in the information, demonstrations, and application exercises to build confidence and competence. Worthy instruction is not about topics with face validity. It's about authentic tasks and outputs and the measures for both that leads to performance competence back on the job. That's the nature of performance-based instruction.